From budgeting to student loan payments, the hashtag FinTalk has exploded on TikTok. It really just shows how many people are looking for that personal finance advice, how to save their paycheck, how to spend their paycheck, and especially during this time of year, how to file taxes. Brad Messner of the National Association of Tax Professionals and a professor at the University of Pittsburgh says social media can give voice to some helpful sources for tax topics, but not all have the same credibility and expertise. In a lot of cases, there's a lot of intricacies and nuances. So there is no way in a 15 second or even in some cases, a 30 second or three minute clip to explain all of the details around the topic. The IRS said this week bad information on social media, including schemes like misusing W-2 forms to scam a bigger refund, can lead a taxpayer to big trouble. Nick Molney, managing editor at CNET, says users should always do their own research. The fact check that you always want to put into place, make sure that you know the basics and that you're not just following someone's potential get-rich-quick messaging that may or may not even be true. After all, Messner says it's the individual filer who's held accountable for that tax return. When you submit that return or when you sign that return, you are ultimately responsible for it. And if anything comes into question, just the, the response of, oh, well, I saw that on TikTok is not really a valid response in, in the terms of an audit. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa.